Hey, what is going on, guys? So, this is how to wire two dual voice coil 4 ohm subs down to 1 ohm for the final impedance. Now, this is really complicated, so bear with me. Uh, on your amp, you have a positive and negative, if it's, if it's a mono block. Then, for your first sub, you got two positives and two negatives, if, if it's a dual voice coil. It, for a second sub, you got two positives and two negatives again. Pretty much what you're trying to do is take that 4 ohm, that 4 ohm, that 4 ohm, and that 4 ohm, all to convert down to 1 ohm. So you get the most power out of your amp. Uh, so pretty much what you got to do, it's like kind of wiring in parallel at first. You take your positive to positive to positive, and then just the extra step is to pretty much bridge your sub. So you got positive to this positive, then this positive to this positive. Now, I did like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 2.1, 2 and 2.2. 2. That's like sub 1, sub 1, sub 1, or sub 1, sub 1, voice coil 1, voice coil 2, sub 2, sub 2, voice coil 1, voice coil 2. Um, but, so yeah, it'd be positive, 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 and then you'd get negative on the opposite one so don't don't connect negative to this one you gotta have the second voice coil you go negative to this one then negative to negative then negative to negative to negative so I'll run that through really quick again well not really quick I'll, I'll slow down so positive on the amp to sub 1 voice coil 1 then positive from sub 1 voice coil 1 to sub 1 voice coil 2 then back down to sub 1 voice coil 1 you'd bring that over to sub 2 voice coil 1 then you take sub 2 voice coil 1 to sub 2 voice coil 2 then you'd get uh, your negative to your second <clears throat> second voice coil on your first sub then you take the second voice coil and go to the first voice coil on the first sub then you take the second voice coil to the second voice coil on sub 2. Then you take the second voice coil on sub 2 to the first voice coil on sub 2. So, <clears throat> I I would recommend you to screenshot this, then draw it out yourself, and try and figure it out, because this is really confusing. And this took me quite a while to figure out myself. Now, uh, like I said again, your amp has to be stable at 1 ohm. You don't do it with anything else unless if it's stable at 1 ohm because that, that'd be bad if you messed up. <clears throat> and you can't, it's not the same if these are, uh, like let's say that these are uh, both two voice coil subs, or both two ohm voice coil subs. They, it, it won't read out to be 1 ohm. Uh, they they have to be, it'd be 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 1 ohm, if you wire it like this. So, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned something. <sighs> and good luck, and have fun basing.